Thank you very much for tuning in to Chippewa Valley's fourth most popular late night comedy talk show, The Valley Tonight. My name is Logan. And my name is Jacob. And we're glad to have you with us in the audience, glued to the lounge TV, or cozied up in your Snuggie watching you on YouTube. As you may know, this is the part of the show where we tell horrible jokes that we wrote yesterday. But right now, we want to give it up for the band that is way out of our league, the CamCats. <laughs> And speaking of wild animals, a deer was caught on camera entering a liquor store. The underage doe headed straight for the bourbon section in hopes of celebrating making it through one more hunting season. But she failed to purchase the bourbon because she was short a buck. Wow. <laughs> Last week in Utah, a woman said that she found a snake head in her canned green beans. When she informed health officials about the incident, they said, Ew, you eat canned green beans? An Oregon high school formally apologized to his students after they all received pornographic emails from the school's email system. The principal said he thought it would only be sent to him. <laughs> yeah, we both attended Fireball last weekend, and it was pretty fun. It's a bit of a drag, though. <laughs> According to the Huffington Post, a uniformed officer was mistaken for a stripper while checking on a women's 50th birthday party. The officer said he seriously considered taking the birthday girl downtown. Oh. In a recent study, it was found that a quarter of men over the age of 85 reported sexual activity in the past year. His name was Blanche. Speaking of elderly men, there's a new dating site for Bernie Sanders supporters called Bernie Singles. Naturally, membership and benefits are free. Unless you are a Wall Street billionaire. Well, the site has no corporate donors. It's going to cause a dating revolution. Yeah, maybe the 1% aren't the only ones getting screwed this election season. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hillary was quoted saying, I don't believe I've ever lied. <laughs> That's the joke, people. <laughs> no, she says she was unable to verify her claim because she deleted all her emails. Hey, <laughs> happens, right? Uh, but Trump has sided with Hillary, claiming that Ted Cruz is the biggest liar in politics. Yeah, that's an interesting claim, considering Trump's statements were awarded PolitiFact's 2015 Lie of the Year. Hmm. That's right. His facts are currently sitting at 1% true, 6% mostly true, 15% half true, 18% mostly false, 40% false, and 19% what the hell? <laughs> Speaking of liars, a teenager is facing felony charges for impersonating a senator and speaking to a high school class about politics. The police chief said he's unaware, or he's aware of numerous warrants for the, for the same crime, but he says he can't arrest the whole Senate at once. Thanks for watching. We got a great show coming up. Tonight we have Haley Parvin with us. Haley is a singer-songwriter out of Madison, Wisconsin, and her new record, One Eye Open, can be found on iTunes. After that, we will see a group of lead actors from Cabaret, the musical on campus. So don't go away because Garth Brooks has something really important to tell you from 1980. Hi folks, I'm Garth Brooks, and you know when I step on this Opry stage, the first thing I strap on is my guitar. But when I get in my pickup, the first thing I strap on is much more important. Never turn that key until that seatbelt is fastened. Did you know wearing your seatbelt increases your chances of surviving an accident by 50%? So take a tip from a friend. Buckle up. Be safe. Be smart. The odds are in your favor. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it.
welcome two actors from the cabaret musical on campus, Audra and... You don't know my name? I do know your name, Lindsay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Um, first of all, just tell us a little bit about cabaret. Cabaret? You know, oh, Cabaret, the musical on yeah, campus. Yeah, that okay, one. Okay, I see. So, about that, it's set in 1930s, turn of the decade, Berlin. Um, and it's about a cabaret performer named Sally Bowles and an American named Cliff Bradshaw. This is Sally right here. We got the lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, cool. Great. So uh, the show is done, um, you know, in order to convey the, um, the correct style and the, um, the characters' positions. It's conveyed all in lingerie, yes? Yep. So how is that experience for you? Well, for me, I guess it's just in the very beginning for me, and then I get to wear all these super cool beaded flapper dresses and that kind of stuff. But at first, putting them on, I'm like, oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? But then I realized that everybody around me is doing the exact same thing. Except and for the audience. Except for the audience. <laughs> Fully clothed audience. <laughs> but unfortunately. You just work it. You just, you just work with what you got. Yeah. Well, so. that's, uh, that's, that's great. I mean, if you got something. I don't have anything. So um, I was in the audience. I was in the audience. So. All right. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, with rehearsals and everything, I mean, you guys must be around each other, like, all the time for oh, yeah. months. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, like, there must be some cast fights, right? Like, why do you guys Actually, hate each other so much? <laughs> I wish that was true. I, that'd be really interesting if it was true, but it is not at all true. No fights? We love each other so much. It's a small cast, too, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a 16. super small cast, yeah. And we actually, we've only been rehearsing it for a month or so. Oh. Wow. But it's still, I, you guys have been to the show. You can vouch for this. It's a fantastic show regardless. It is. Yeah. Jacob and I both went Saturday night. You should definitely go. It was yeah, awesome. I would, I would definitely recommend it. It's, it's an incredibly done show. Um, very entertaining, but also very meaningful. It has a, um, it has a, you know, it has a really good, you know, it leaves you with, with a lot of questions. So that's, you know, it's really moving. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to go right into a game called Eat Shit. <laughs> so. Sounds great. All Jacob right. and I both went to the store about an hour ago. And we bought uh, two foods for under $5, one of which... Oh, no. Is good, one of which is shit. <laughs> so, yeah, Jacob will explain how it works. So, uh, basically, this game is, uh, is a, there's a reward system. Um, we, have, we have a food for each of you, um, and you can start out here. We'll put them in front of you. And um, you can start out by, uh, if you want, you can swap. So you guys can, you know, barter if you guys want to, you know, swap them around. You know that one of them is good, one of them is bad. So basically the idea is you get one dollar for agreeing to eat it after you see it. You get a no, second... No, before you see it. No, yeah, right. You're agreeing to eat it after you see it. The second dollar is if you no. agree to eat it after you've seen... Or I mean before you've seen it. So if you agree to eat it even though we haven't shown you what's inside yet. And then the third one is if you agree to eat it blindfolded. Right. I'm in. All right. All right. And then there is a fourth bonus dollar. Bonus dollar, yes. Bonus if dollar. you eat another item, which we have prepared over here. That is definitely shit? Uh, we don't know. It could not, not, <laughs> with that, that we can't tell you. Okay. So We don't even know. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so we'll start here. And um, w how many dollars would you like to go for? Do it. Three. Three, Three. yeah. Three. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all, the way. Blindfold. all right, so we're going to get the blindfold out here. <laughs> all right, even if it's good, everybody no, just pretend it's gross. All. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Sorry, i got to tie this around here. Okay. Oh, Can my gosh. Get... How many fingers? How many fingers? Uh, good question. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. I have a question. Hey, Jacob, what's my name? Lindsay. There you right. go. So, Perfect. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal it here. And... Uh, Audience, be ready to react. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh, that's bad. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just stab the fork in there. 
Okay. And you, am I feeding myself? Or yeah, we're going to feed you. I'll you just got to go for it. I'll give you the fork here. So you just got to go for it here. Actually, I'm just going to hold on. All right. Sounds gonna, bad. Get a reasonable go. portion of that delicious. There you go. Here's, the, here's, the, here's that. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you want to hold on. I'm going to get the garbage can just in case it's a little bit messy here. A little bit, you know, maybe you throw up or something. We're just going to get this ready here. It's right to your right side. This is the garbage can right, right on your elbow. You just right throw it all in one. Right. Just one all right. shot. All right, ready? Oh! Tuna? What the fuck uh, is that? Close. Is that cat food? That was sardines. Yeah. Oh. Sardines. Oh. Yes. You, just, you just ate a whole fish. Yeah, you just ate. <laughs> Here, the garbage can's right there if you need it. No, I'm a champ. I'm going to. All right. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that. Oh. <laughs> That's right. what we're talking Take about. Take your blindfold off here. And All now, right. Audra's turn. Eat it. Hey, one, one dollar, two dollar. If you want to see it first, or three dollars. Two dollars. If you don't want to see it first, third dollar. Blindfold it. Do three. Do three. Uh -uh. Three. You three got dollars. Oh, oh, she said three. She said three dollars. Right. Put the blindfold on there. Get the blindfold here, going. Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is a good shot. This is a good shot. <laughs> no, you right. got this, girl. All right, I'm gonna reveal it here to the to the uh, to the camera. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to get this down. Here's a, just going to give you a nice fork full here. So here's the same. It's right here. You're good. There you go. All right. Just go for it. Just go for it. Do it. <laughs> and now, here to perform an original song called I'll Be Around off of her album One Eye Open that can be found on iTunes, Haley Parvin, everybody. to remember me as the person who I want to be not who I am you told me you said never to worry but I find that hard to do and all I want is you my And hold back and fix it up again for you And when all your heart is falling down to the ground Oh, that I can pick it up again The hope I can fix it up again for you Your heart starts turning red I got your picture in my head I'll be around And when all your better days Seem that they've faded all too gray I'll be around I want you Watch your hand next to me You know these lonely days wouldn't be so hard to take with you And you told me You said never to worry But I find that hard to not lie The ground. Oh, 
that you will pick it up again I hope you can fix it up again for me And when all my tears are falling down to the ground Hope that you will pick it up again I hope you can fix it up again for me Turn it red, I got your picture in my head, I'll be around And when all your bad days seem that they've faded all the gray, I'll be around Sometimes you gotta listen to what it says in your heart And I know that things are changing But just come and take my hand Cause although that this is broken There is still a better end all Smokey wants for his 70th birthday. Hi folks, I'm Garth Brooks, and you know when I step on this Opry stage, the first thing I strap on is my guitar, but when I get in my pickup, the first thing I strap on is much more important. Never turn that key until that seatbelt is fastened. Did you know wearing your seatbelt increases your chances of surviving an accident by 50%? So take a tip from a friend. Buckle up. Be safe. Be smart. The odds are in your favor. Thank you very much, and welcome back to the Valley tonight. Uh, we're going to play a game now called Who Sucked Less? It is a game versus our, our two guests from the cabaret and two band members from the Camcats. <laughs> that we're, <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right, so the game, Who Sucked Less? We're going to give them both scenarios, random, ridiculous scenarios, and they have 15 seconds to come up with a way to act it out and then 30 seconds to a minute to actually act it out. And after they're done, yeah, we'll explain it later. But the first group, the actors, your first scenario is a disastrous first day on the job as garbage men. Ready, go. 15 seconds. Um, I'll be the trash. All right, cut. 30 seconds starting now. The end. The end? All right. That, yeah. that was that, that was the actors. All right. Now the uh, the first the first um, skit for the band is a dysfunctional couple decorating, decorating, and always disagreeing. 
So you can talk. Uh, wow. <laughs> that happened crazy now. Um, all right, actors up. Second prompt. Oh. The final round for the actors. Your scenario: police interrogation of a five-year-old murder suspect. Why'd you do it? Do what? Kill the child. We know it's Ooh, you. We have every what? evidence that goes that it's you. Why'd you kill the child? But when? February 15th at 10 p.m. in the middle of a swimming pool. No. You drowned the child. No, you did. We know it was you. Your fingerprints no, are on the No, you child. did it. It was you. It was you. You did it. You did it. No. <laughs> I love my mommy. You're guilty. We're taking you to jail. Let's go. The end. The end. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. All right. And now the band's Thank final you. prop. This is the last. So pay attention. Construction workers find awesome buried treasure. <laughs> So, who wants the band to win? That's unfair. That's unfair. That's unfair. Who wants the actors to win? Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, and the actors, the actors, actors win! win. Yeah. yeah! Woo! Parvin, this time a cover of Gnarls Barkley's Crazy. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was someone so pleasant about that place. Even our emotions had an echo in so much space. And when you're out there, Without care, yeah, I was out of touch But it wasn't because I didn't know enough I just knew too much Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Thank you.
Ever since I was little, ever since I was little, it looked like fun. And it's no coincidence I've come. I can die when I'm done. I think you're crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe what? But thank you very much for tuning in to the second episode of The Valley Tonight. If you pity us enough, like our Facebook page, follow TV10 on Instagram and Twitter, and for the love of all that is good, download Haley's album, One I Open on iTunes. Thank you for watching TV10. Always on, but slightly off. They are the cleanest noise with the most regal poise. The Cam Cats, everybody. Good night. You can tell by the late night day when people start to move. They can feel it all up.